Hi everyone, imagine you have a couple of input boxes and the input boxes they start with a value box in one of the boxes but then another input box gets a value, right? So the test types and changes at runtime. And now we want to find all the input boxes with a current value of fox. Well, if you just ask for all the elements of type input with the attribute value equals fox, you only get the initial one. You don't get the one that we set for fox by typing it. Notice this one is not present in the elements returned by site get. So there is the first approach for finding input boxes with current value equal to fox. And this should return both boxes. Perfect. So that's one approach. But it's not ideal. And it's not ideal because we have to really know that our DOM is stable. That it's not going to re-render input values that uh, the filter can safely work and uh, nothing's going to change under us. It would be nice if we had only a single command and a single assertion because then Cypress would retry it correctly. So we're going to remove this. And instead, we're going to use my utility library called Cypress should really. And uh, at first, it just provides the really. So how does this work? So get all the input elements. And you say should. And here's where you can provide a callback function and write complex logic. Or you can build the complex logic step by step using little predicate and utility functions provided by Cypress should really. So for example, you say really, and really is almost like a pipeline. You only provide steps and the Cypress should will provide the elements that have to pass through the steps and then satisfy the assertion at the end. So the assertion at the end is the same, should have length two. And all the steps before, well, we can build them up. So should gives us a DOM element, right? So we will get an array of jQuery element. So the first step we want to do, we want to map over that array and we want to get values. So from each element in that array, we want to get the value. So where do the map and its come from? Map and its come from Cypress should really. Okay, so now we get a string. Okay, and notice it extracted the string, right? And for the first input box, that value is empty, string, right? And then fox, fox. Okay, so we are very close. We just need to filter this array of strings. So how do we filter? We filter using a little utility function. Okay, and how do we filter? Well, we only are interested in the values are equal to fox. And where is equal coming from? From Cypress should really. Okay, how cool is that? Where really, really builds up a single callback function that is used with should and just waits for the list of elements to work with. And now, even if a page renders and elements are, are gone and are created or the values change, Cypress will retry site get until a predicate callback function really passes and filters element with a value of fox and there are two of them. So check out Cypress should really let me know what you think.